Is your diet putting a crimp on your social life? Don't worry, I've got some tips, some do's and don'ts that are gonna help you get through the holidays and beyond with how to survive dieting and still having a social life. Tune in to learn more. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and also make sure that you've hit that cute little bell button so that you're notified whenever we put out new content on the channel as well. I have my notes here. I've got three don'ts. I'm gonna go through the three things not to do when you're dieting. So three things not to do so that you have a social life and three things to do. And then we'll wrap it up and, and we're gonna have a nice brief to the point video. Anyway, let's get right to our don'ts. Um, the secrets to achieving, we're talking again about how to achieve fat loss without you know, sacrificing your social life. Number one, this is super important. Don't diet in secret. What do I mean by that? So many people, so many women in particular, don't, don't wanna tell anybody that they're on a diet, you know? And, and what I'm talking about is, you know, it's like you're, you're going on a diet and then you're, you're going out with your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever, and, and you're going out to eat, you're going out on a date, you're going out on a group date, bunch of friends, whatever. And you don't wanna tell anybody when you're ordering your drinks, you're ordering your appetizers. Um, you don't wanna tell anybody that you're on a diet. You don't wanna tell anybody you've gone keto. You don't wanna tell anybody um, you're on the HCG diet. You don't wanna tell anybody what you're doing because you're, you're gonna worry that they're gonna ask you questions. You're gonna worry that they're gonna pressure you. You're gonna worry about this, that, or the other. The biggest thing I can tell you is don't do that. You've got to be, you've got to be proud of what you're doing. You've got to be, you've got to be prepared that's, that people might absolutely make comments, but be proud to what I just said, be proud of what you're doing and don't hide what you're doing. Like the more that you're open with what you're doing, you're going to have accountability and inevitably you will have the support of the people around you. And, and the newness of you sharing that, hey, I've decided to go keto or hey, I've decided to do 75 hard or hey, I've decided to um, do no sugar or JLo's diet or I'm doing this detox or whatever it is that you decide to do the newness of it will wear off. And if people are gonna give you a hard time or try to nudge you or, or try to get you to be like, come on, you know, it's Friday, just have margarita or whatever. The newness will wear off after a while. I mean, after like a week or two, trust me. But the more that you, the more that you try to hide it, that's when people will find out anyway. And that's when I think people will try to give you a harder time is if you're trying to hide it. So don't, don't hide what you're doing. Um, number two, don't think that you can't go out. Um, um, okay. I hate it when that, that goes out there. Um, and what I mean by that is a lot of people think uh, they have this all or nothing mindset. Um, they think, okay, well, I'm gonna be dieting now, so that means no going out. You know, I can't go to pool parties, I can't go out with my friends, I can't go to bars, I can't go to happy hour, I can't drink, I can't do this. Nothing could be further from the truth. What you need to be able to do is plan, do a little extra work, do a little extra homework, and uh, what I have here in my notes is what I suggest and what I've done that helps me be able to go out, have alcohol, have maybe dessert or the food that I want on, particularly on the weekends or at a restaurant or whatever. Get familiar with macros. If you don't know what macros are, comment in the comments below. I will do a separate video on macros. Um, and ideally learn how to calorie and carb cycle. If you don't know what I mean by that, comment below. I will do a whole video on that and how I've done that in the past because for me, um, when I was doing that, I don't really need to do that as much anymore because I've pretty much pretty much hit my goal weight. I might, I still might want to lose like another five to seven pounds, but I'm, I'm in a very good place right now. And I'm just starting to, 
to work out again. So I'm gonna work out, not necessarily try to lose weight yet, just see what happens when I'm adding my working out back in. But I'm, I'm not really trying to lose weight aggressively right now, so I'm good. But I will tell you, calorie cycling worked really well for me. And again, for any of you watching this video, if you hear this, like ba basically let me just summarize this for you without getting into too much detail. Calorie cycling lets you take, say, say you're in a caloric deficit and your caloric deficit number is 1500 calories a day. What you, what you do, it's, it's almost like you shuffle your calories and, and you say, okay, I'm normally at 1500 calories a day. What I'm gonna do is say, uh, 1500 calories a day times seven days a week equals what total? That's a total number per week, right? Well, what if I, and, and it, it depends on where you're at if you're comfortable with this. What if I did a, a 24 hour fast? This is what I did. I would do a couple of 24 hour fasts a week. And by doing a couple 24 hour fasts a week, I figured out how many calories that would decrease my, my total surplus or my total uh, for the whole week. And, and then that, I would add that on to Friday's calories. So I think it would, you know, because I was still having, you know, 500 calories this day or whatever, it basically would decrease 2000 calories. And then I would add that on to, to the other days or whatever. Or if you don't do a 24 hour fast, maybe you do one 24 hour fast, or maybe you, you add in, um, a, a t maybe you're not doing intermittent fasting and you, you do a 12 hour fast or whatever, but you're decreasing your calories by, or maybe you do a one meal a day. And in that one meal a day, um, you only have, instead of like normally you take in 1500 calories a day, you do 800 calories that day. So on that day you've saved 600 calories here, over here you save 600 calories because you do a one meal a day, you know, whatever. Then you take those calories you saved and you put them on Friday. So on Friday, the way that I did it, I worked it out so that I was able to have on Fridays 2,200 calories, like a lot of calories. I was able to go out and know I didn't, I could go out on Friday and really like tie one on. Like I could have, you know, um, back then, this was before I went keto, you know, I could have my blueberry cucumber martini, I could have, you know, french fries, I could have what, and I didn't have to count calories because I just knew I had such a big window of calories because I kind of banked them. So that's what calorie cycling is, that's what carb cycling is. But also, if you're not comfortable doing that, you don't have to do that, that's one method. Simply knowing, looking up and starting to get familiar with how many calories are in certain foods. Simply knowing, okay, we're going to Texas Roadhouse tonight. Going to Texas Roadhouse website and looking up what calories are in how many foods and, and looking up what you can order to balance, to, to figure out how that fits into your calories for the day. That means that you can feel comfortable ordering something and then, you know, Maybe you, um, you know, intermittent fast and, and, you know, you fast as much as you can. So you save up and then you, you know, you fast, you, you, you intermittent fast and do one meal a day and that's your one meal a day. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that you can incorporate fasting techniques. And that's, that's if, if you're new and you're hearing me talk about this and you say, that sounds unhealthy. That's not unhealthy. That's not an unhealthy thing to do. Fasting is very beneficial for the body, having long periods of time where you're not eating and then you do eat, that is actually beneficial for the body. Do some reading for it. If, you, if those of you that are uh, familiar with intermittent fasting and fasting, you know that that obviously has just been a technique for you, right? So again, number one, don't diet in secret. Make sure you're telling people, um, let them be accountable for you. Let them be accountable with you. Excuse me. Let them be support for you. Um, don't think that you can't do it. Um, or excuse me. Don't think that you can't go out, get familiar with macros. Um, ideally learn how to, uh, carb cycle and, and, and then that way you can plan for the weekend, plan for date nights out. If you would like me to do a video 
on calorie and carb cycling and how to do that and kind of coach you through that, please comment below. I'm happy to do that. And I'm also happy to do a video uh, with more detail on macros if you're unfamiliar with that. Um, number three, don't have an all or nothing mindset. Um, you, and this is what I kind of said before, I, I referenced this before, you can diet and work out and go and have, have fun. Too many people think that they have to diet or live their life. And a lot of people think that, like a lot of people thought, you know, when I went keto, like they were surprised to see I was drinking alcohol. Like I drank alcohol the whole time I've been keto. I'm still, I'm still drinking. You, you just need to look into how to do things and, and still honor, you know, what fits your macros, what's fitting your diet plan. Um, you know, in, in, in my case, I just looked for the lowest carb drinks and, and that's what I stuck with. I thought my husband was home, but obviously I was hearing incorrectly. So, um, and you know, it's not that you can't go out. It's not that you can't drink. It's not that you can't go to restaurants. Um, and you also have to learn, that's gonna be one of my things that I, I say here as I'm segueing into the do's, you also have to be able to give yourself, this was one of the biggest lessons I learned, to give yourself a lot more grace. And, and this would probably be a good point for me to segue into the do's section um, because a lot of these points are gonna to blend together. Um, but again, just to close up on that last point, Dieting doesn't mean that you've got to stop living. Um, in fact, with everything that I know, with going keto, that's a pretty strict diet approach. And just the way life is now, knowing that I can go to pretty much any restaurant and, and or you know bar and ask for you know things to be made the way that I want them to, um, you can go, to, depending on what your hiccup, sorry, depending on what your diet approach is, um, you can go to pretty much any restaurant, any bar and tell them what your dietary needs are, what, you know, you're trying to avoid and they can make a drink for you. They can make a, a they can make food for you according to what your specifications are. You don't need to stay at home. Um, and, uh, you know, miss out on life just because you're dieting. And dieting no longer means chicken breast and broccoli anymore. It certainly means a lot more options than that. So let's move into the do's. <sighs> Moving into the do's. Number one, be proud of what you're doing. Now this might sound really silly or maybe really cheesy to some of you, but it's super important. Um, so many people, when they go on a diet, they act embarrassed. Um, they act ashamed, they act, I would say embarrassed is probably more so what you hear, like, oh, I'm going keto, oh, I have to lose weight. You know, like it's this um, screensaver. Sorry, like it's this punishment that they're going through. You need to proclaim what you're doing and wear it like it's a badge of honor because you're doing something that's that's brave and courageous and you should be damn proud of what you're doing. And don't let anybody tease you or push you around. The pe anybody who is going to tease you or push you around verbally or you know on social media or anything like that, you should be looking at them going, <laughs> How sad is that, that they have to make fun of me because I'm, I'm the one who's taking steps to improve my life, to improve my health and well-being, and they're the one who's not. And they're the one who's a grown adult who's gonna make fun of me because I'm taking steps to improve my life, really? Like, that's what you should be thinking. Be proud of what you're doing because you're setting an example for so many other people. And that is something you should be very, very proud of not ashamed of too many people are like you know hiding in a corner and like they don't want to tell you are setting an example for so many other people and that is something you should be loud and proud about um number two get creative with your cooking um ever since i mean i had such a great time 
once we went keto, starting to cook again, and I've always loved cooking, so I don't wanna say that it was something completely new to start cooking, but Steve and I started making all of these new recipes, and in fact, I came out with a cookbook um, because I wanted to share with other people who were going keto who had no idea all of the things they could be eating on keto. Hard, <laughs> hard plug. The link is down below. You can you can buy the keto cookbook for just twenty seven dollars. So the link is down below. But I mean, it was really really fun. And here's a second thing. In addition to knowing that you can diet and go out and have fun and drink with your friends and that you shouldn't be intimidated by going out to bars and clubs and that you can do that, enjoy it, and you're not going to blow your diet. You can plan for it. But start cooking more and have your friends over, you know, and, and, and know that that is also a great option. And then how cool is that, that you can have people over and influence them because you're going to be able to make all this great tasting food and they're going to go, oh my God, is this keto? Oh my God, is this paleo? Oh my God, this is amazing. I didn't know that this is, you know, whatever diet it is that you're on. Um, it's a, it's just another excuse for a party but another excuse for you to have a good influence on people. Lastly, this is what I alluded to before. Be calm and forgiving. Don't be a perfectionist. Enjoy the journey that you are on. And if you mess up, just keep going. Don't throw in the towel. That's the biggest lesson that I had to learn um, because this is exactly what I didn't do for years. Um, I was a perfectionist. I was somebody who aimed so high. I was somebody who had unrealistic expectations. I was somebody who thought I couldn't go out. I avoided going out because I thought, you know, I could, I had to have only chicken breast and broccoli. Um, I also, I think a lot of people sometimes avoid going out because they don't want to go out until they look perfect. So they won't go out, they won't even go to the gym until they think they've reached their goal weight. Some people do that. Um, but some people, if they mess up on their diet, will um, you know, throw in the towel, cheat all weekend, start over on Monday. Don't do that. I just had a chat with one of my good friends this weekend and she felt really bad because she blew it on Friday. And you know, you just really have to just get over that, be kind to yourself, realize you're not gonna gain weight from being bad one night. Give yourself grace, it's no big deal, just move on to the next day. If you can just keep going and understand that consistency trumps perfection, and, and give write that on a, put that on your screensaver, write that and get that mantra in your head, that's more important than anything else. <laughs> I keep thinking I hear somebody in my kitchen. It's very creepy, but I think it's just the wind. Anyway, so that is really, these are some very simple pointers, but each one of these points is really, as I was writing these down, these are really the most important things I would want to impart to you. Um, because these are all the things that, that have been um, really the most important lessons that I've learned. And most specifically that last one, the one I just shared with you. Um, if you can get over being a perfectionist, get over being so hard on yourself and just keep going. The biggest mistake I've made that kept me from seeing success um, and, and the reason I saw, one of the biggest reasons I saw success with keto is I never stopped. I just kept going. Um, and, and I didn't give up. I, even when I had several weeks where my weight stayed exactly the same and I was frustrated, but it just kept staying the same, the same, the same, the same. And I was really frustrated. I'm like, why isn't the scale dropping? Why isn't the scale dropping? But I just kept going and inevitably I hit my goal weight and, um, you know, there have been times recently where I've been frustrated, you know? I added carbs back into my life and the scale went up and my doctor told me to expect that and I got super frustrated. But you've, you've got to like not beat yourself up and then just keep going, get back on the, get back on the train. So I've said enough. Um, to wrap up, let me just say this again. Um, number one, obviously, if you guys have questions on any of this stuff, 
let me know. Number two, like I said before, if you guys want me to do a video on carb cycling, on the calorie cycling trick, if you will, that was really helpful for me. And it, it, it was really wonderful for me because it kind of made dieting a game for me. And it was really cool because I knew that every Friday slash Saturday, I had a whole lot of calories banked. And um, it, it did, it just made the whole week kind of like a game. It really worked. I'm happy to do a video on that if you'd like me to. I'm also happy to do a video on macros and explain that if you'd like me to, just put that in the comments below. Like I said, in the uh, information down below, there will also be a link to my keto cookbook as well as my keto bootcamp where I teach you, uh, it's for women only. I teach you how to do keto the way I did keto. Um, it's just $97. It is a online video course, um, self-paced. You run through it on your own timetable. And um, again, um, it's how I figured out how to do keto so I, I was able to lose 36 inches and 30 pounds um, after being unable to lose weight for the better part of, honestly, uh, the last five to seven years. And finally, I just saw my husband and my dog just get home. So the timing is perfect. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and for supporting my channel. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. You guys have a great rest of the week and remember, you are just one change away from a better tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. I am going to link up to my keto playlist because I think it's likely most relevant here. If you have any questions on on keto or on anything else specifically, feel free to reach out to me at kelly at kellyalexa.com. Thanks so much.